Imagine waking up one morning and realizing that every rule of modern transportation has just been rewritten. And it did not happen in Silicon Valley or Detroit, but in China. While the West is still debating budgets, wrestling with outdated infrastructure, and patching old bridges one by one, China has quietly rolled out machines that look like they came straight from the year 2050. Floating SUVs, trains faster than commercial airplanes, giant buses that glide above traffic, and even cars that bring their own personal aircraft. Today, you are about to witness 10 groundbreaking Chinese transportation technologies that are pushing the limits of physics and forcing the world to rethink the leadership position it once assumed was secure. This is not just about numbers. It is a story of strategy, investment scale, and execution speed that China is demonstrating in a way the West struggles to keep up with. I am James. Welcome to China Discoveries Official. 1. BYD Yang Wang U8 The World's First Floating SUV The BYD Yang Wang U8 has sparked global attention as the first SUV in the world capable of floating on water. BYD, once known for affordable electric cars, has now risen into the luxury segment, even surpassing Tesla in global EV sales in several recent quarters. The U8 features an advanced hydraulic system that lifts or lowers the body by about 150 millimeters, giving it remarkable adaptability across different terrains. But its signature capability is its ability to transform into a temporary boat. In water as deep as one meter for the standard version or 1.5 meters for the off-road edition, the U8 can stay afloat and continue moving. In emergencies, such as floods or being trapped on a submerged street, the vehicle automatically switches to float mode. The engine shuts down, windows seal, air conditioning stays on, and the sunroof opens for ventilation. The U8 can remain afloat for up to 30 minutes and travel at roughly three kilometers per hour during that time. This is not a toy feature. It is a life-saving capability that shows a level of safety and adaptability rarely seen in consumer vehicles. With a starting price of about 1,098,000 yuan, roughly $150,000, the Yang Wang U8 represents China's bold entry into the global luxury automotive market. Its signature tank turn, allowing the car to rotate a full 360 degrees on the spot, adds to its engineering appeal. The U8 is not just redefining what an SUV can do, it blends advanced technology, safety, and adaptability, opening a new era for both off-road travel and water-capable mobility. Two, the SkyTrain driverless suspended rail system China continues to surprise the world with its driverless suspended rail technology. The idea itself is not new, but the scale and speed at which China deploys it is something entirely different. This system, often called SkyRail or a straddle monorail, is developed entirely by China, led by the rail giant CRRC. The train runs on an elevated single-beam monorail, completely separated from ground traffic. One of the best examples is the Chengdu Line, stretching about 10.5 kilometers, completed in only seven months. That is the same amount of time it normally takes just to install a standard ground-level rail system, but with similar cost, SkyRail delivers far more. Higher passenger capacity, fewer accidents, and valuable ground space freed up for parks, roads, and public areas. Traveling at around 60 kilometers per hour, each train can carry up to 200 passengers. Because it sits above the roads, it bypasses congestion entirely, offering fast and efficient movement across dense cities. Its minimal footprint makes it ideal for urban centers struggling with land scarcity. This driverless SkyTrain represents a major leap in public transportation, combining advanced automation, high safety, and space efficiency. It is also quickly becoming a model that many developing countries are studying as a potential alternative to expensive subway systems. 3. Ehang EH216F and EH216L Firefighting and cargo drones. 
Yihang, one of China's UAV pioneers, has made remarkable progress in passenger and industrial air mobility. Beyond the well-known EH-260 NASA passenger model, Yihang has created the EH-216F for firefighting and the EH-2 bus 16 Unrel for cargo operations, proving how flexible and practical drone technology can be. The EH-2639S is a breakthrough air taxi designed to solve urban mobility bottlenecks. It carries two passengers using eight pairs of electric propellers and operates quietly with zero emissions, perfect for crowded cities. Most importantly, it is fully autonomous. The flight control system handles takeoff, navigation, and landing without any pilot input. Even if a rotor fails, the aircraft can still land safely. With a top speed of about 130 kilometers per hour and a service ceiling of roughly 3,000 meters, it is engineered for fast, short to medium distance travel across metropolitan regions. But Ehang's vision goes beyond passenger travel. The EH-2 16-on-F firefighting drone can spray extinguishing agents directly into high-rise floors or hard-to-reach areas where ground fire trucks struggle. The EH-2116L cargo drone can deliver supplies to remote regions or perform rapid logistics missions across cities. In October 2023, the EH-216S became the first passenger EV to mall in the world to receive a commercial type certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. This milestone puts China ahead of the West in legalizing and commercializing autonomous flying vehicles. 4. The X Peking Aero HT Flying Car A ground vehicle that brings its own aircraft, X Peng Aero HT's flying car project, represented by the X Peng X3, shows how boldly China is pushing the boundaries of mobility. While most companies compete with Tesla on the ground, X Peng aims for the skies. The X3 is a hybrid concept that combines a normal road vehicle with a detachable flight module capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Weighing roughly 1,936 kilograms, the X3 uses an innovative eight-rotor design for stable vertical lift. On the ground, it behaves like a normal car. In flight mode, it transitions smoothly into the air and is controlled using a steering wheel and a single flight lever, making aerial navigation intuitive even for first-time pilots. This makes it very different from traditional roadable airplanes, which are basically aircraft that can drive. The X3 reaches a top speed of around 130 kilometers per hour in the air and can fly for about 35 minutes. A unique feature is its dual module charging system. The ground unit can recharge the flight unit, minimizing downtime and increasing operational flexibility. The cabin fits two passengers and offers a panoramic 270-degree view, blending the comfort of a modern EV with the thrill of aerial travel. Xpeng Aero HT is building an integrated mobility ecosystem that tackles urban congestion and opens a new era of personal aviation. 5. The Transit Elevated Bus TEB, the bus that drives above traffic. The Transit Elevated Bus, or TEB, is one of the boldest transportation concepts ever attempted. Even though the project faced major challenges and never reached full development, its brief existence showed the world how far China is willing to go when exploring large-scale, unconventional solutions. The idea behind TEB was simple but revolutionary. Imagine a giant bus running on elevated tracks while leaving a clearance underneath for cars to pass through. This meant the TEB could glide over existing roads without taking up additional ground space, bypassing congestion entirely. It was designed to carry hundreds of passengers at once, offering a far cheaper and faster to build alternative to a traditional subway line. A full-scale test was carried out in Xinhuangdao in 2016. Although the project later ran into technical, financial, and urban planning obstacles, the TEB remains a symbol of China's willingness to experiment with daring ideas for real-world problems. It did not succeed as expected, but the mindset behind it remains a core part of China's innovation culture. Test fast, learn fast, scale fast. 
6. Deepway Xingtu, Baidu's autonomous AI heavy truck China, has become a major force in autonomous driving. And the Deepway Xingtu truck, powered by Baidu's Apollo platform, is one of the clearest proofs. Baidu has invested billions of dollars into artificial intelligence and autonomous systems, turning Apollo into one of the world's most advanced self-driving ecosystems. The Xingtu is designed to transform long-haul trucking. It operates at autonomy level four, meaning it can drive itself in most conditions without human intervention. Its sensor suite includes LiDAR, high-resolution cameras, radar arrays, and precision positioning. The result is a truck that reduces human error, enhances safety, and boosts logistics efficiency. China is the largest trucking market on Earth. Autonomous trucks like the Xingtu promise to solve driver shortages, cut fuel and routing costs, and improve overall freight reliability. Baidu has already begun pilot operations on freight corridors between logistics hubs, proving China's readiness to integrate next-generation transportation into national infrastructure. While the United States continues debating regulations and infrastructure for autonomous trucking, China is rapidly building a legal and industrial environment that supports mass deployment. 7. The CRRC 600 km per hour Maglev China has long dominated high-speed rail, and now it is pushing even further with the CRRC 600 km per hour Maglev. This is not just a train. It is a statement of engineering ambition from the world's largest rail equipment manufacturer. China already operates the only commercial Maglev line on Earth, the Shanghai Maglev, launched in 2002 with a top speed of 431 kilometers per hour. In 2021, CRRC unveiled the next generation prototype with a designed top speed of 600 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest ground transportation vehicle in existence. Maglev technology uses electromagnetic forces to lift and propel the train, eliminating wheel rail friction. This allows extreme speed, smooth riding, and very low noise. At 600 kilometers per hour, the trip from Beijing to Shanghai, roughly 1,200 kilometers, would take about 2.5 hours. That is comparable to, or even faster than a domestic flight once airport procedures are factored in. As the United States continues struggling with basic high-speed rail planning, China already operates more than 42,000 kilometers of high-speed rail and is preparing for this next leap into ultra-high-speed maglev travel. It demonstrates China's long-term commitment to infrastructure as a driver of national growth in technological leadership. 8. The CR450 High-Speed Train China is not stopping at maglevs. It is also upgrading its traditional high-speed rail system with the CR450 project. The newest generation of CRRC high-speed trains designed to push operating speeds to an entirely new level. The goal for CR450 is simple but transformative. A cruising speed of 400 kilometers per hour and test runs reaching 450 kilometers per hour. This is a major leap from the current Fuxing trains that operate at 350 kilometers per hour. To reach these numbers, CRRC is developing lighter and stronger materials, such as advanced aluminum alloys and carbon fiber composites, refining aerodynamic shapes to cut air resistance, and building more powerful and efficient propulsion systems. But CR450 is not only about speed, it is also about energy efficiency, safety, and passenger comfort. China already operates the largest high-speed rail network on Earth, connecting more than 90% of its major cities. With CR450, China intends not only to maintain this lead, but to widen it, setting a global benchmark for next-generation rail travel. While many Western countries still struggle to modernize their rail systems or find funding for basic upgrades, China is driving the entire industry forward at a pace few can match. CR450 is more than a train. It is a symbol of how infrastructure can power economic growth for hundreds of millions of people. 9. The CRRC Carbon Fiber Tram CRRC is not only pushing mega-project scale technology, 
It is also transforming everyday urban transport with carbon fiber trams. This innovation shows how China applies advanced materials to improve efficiency and sustainability at every level, not just in high-speed rail or maglevs. The carbon fiber trams developed by CRRC, such as those in Qingdao, mark a major breakthrough. Carbon fiber is known for its exceptional strength to weight ratio, which allows the tram body to be significantly lighter than traditional steel structures. A lighter vehicle means lower energy consumption, reduced rail wear, and quieter operation, offering a smoother ride through dense urban environments. Carbon fiber is also naturally resistant to corrosion, reducing long-term maintenance costs and improving vehicle lifespan. This is especially important for coastal or humid cities where steel structures degrade faster. While many Western cities still rely on older tram systems and expensive refurbishments, China is integrating aerospace level materials and advanced manufacturing into public transportation. The carbon fiber tram is a clear example of how China sees transportation, not only fast and large scale, but smart, efficient, and environmentally sustainable. 10. Li Auto Mega. The most advanced electric MPV closing the top 10 is the Li Auto Mega, one of the most impressive pure electric MPVs ever introduced. Li Auto, known for its range extender electric vehicles, took a bold step into the premium pure EV market with Mega, and the result is extraordinary. Mega stands out immediately with its highly aerodynamic body, shaped more like a ground-based bullet train than a conventional MPV. This design reduces drag, boosts efficiency, and cuts noise. Inside, it offers a spacious cabin designed for families, business travel, or long-distance comfort. But the real game-changer is its ultra-fast charging capability. The Li Auto Mega is one of the first EVs in the world to support 5C charging. This allows the battery to go from 10% to 80% in just 10 to 12 minutes. That is enough to add roughly 500 kilometers of driving range in about the time it takes to drink a cup of coffee. With a battery capacity around 102 kilowatt hours, the Mega eliminates one of the biggest concerns for EV buyers. Long charging times. Li Auto. Mega is not just another MPV. It represents the maturity of China's electric vehicle industry. Chinese manufacturers are no longer competing only on price. They are competing on design, engineering, software, and user experience. Mega shows how China is addressing real consumer needs and setting new global standards for the future of personal transportation. The vehicles we explore today are only a small glimpse of the massive wave of innovation unfolding across China. From floating electric SUVs and flying cars to ultra-high-speed trains and intelligent urban transit, China is breaking physical and technological barriers at a pace the world can no longer ignore. They are doing it with scale, speed, and strategic vision that demand recognition and in many cases, admiration. This is not just a race of technology. It is a race to redefine how humanity moves. With powerful investment, strong government support, and a huge domestic market, China is proving that it is no longer a follower. It has become a global leader, challenging the dominance that the United States and the West once held without question. Thank you for watching China Discoveries Official.